like yeah. like like for example, um, actually, last night after the stream, I saw that in the past thirty days on the channel, we've streamed forty hours of content. On your channel? Yep. Oh wow. Well, That's... we have we have three shows running right now. I thought you only had two. No, no, we have three. So we have uh, Toronto by night. Yeah, the vampire game. Uh, vampire. We, during the day on Tuesday, we're doing like a small three-hour sort of 2D6 sort of thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And then we have uh, Suncrest, which is on the Tuesday night. I also have plans for the extra planar thing that I mentioned. And also, it was just thrown out there that somebody wants to run a Curse of Strahd on there. And he's one of the players. Uh, and I know he'll... He does a phenomenal job. Ooh, Curse of Strahd's a pretty good choice. Fifth edition Curse of Strahd? Yep, but he has like animated backgrounds. He customizes a whole bunch of it. And digs right deep into the horror aspect of it. It's great. Oh, you got you guys are well prepared. More prepared than I'll ever be, because I don't have time to do all that. But so like that's the thing. I'm not releasing something until I know I don't have to break my back over it. Like even for even for five E stuff with Sun with 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 my game, I have the I know the world well enough that if I have to, I can go into like five sessions in a row without planning anything. Yeah, and be covered. I'm I'm already set with that too. I'm actually starting to. I got to start catching up a little bit for uh, Pathfinder here. Spoiler alert! I'm running out of things to throw at you. Um. <laughs> Well, we're also a wily group. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm amazed you're all still alive. That's the thing. Like, if you have a solid group, you're kind of covered. Hey, real quick, can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, hello. Yeah. Okay. It was saying that uh, Discord wasn't picking up my mic for some reason, but the thing kept flashing green as if it could hear me. So. Right. Uh. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're good. I. Cool. You're good. Cool. Um, I have added dynamic lighting to our current map. Partially, yeah, I as, see a, that. partially as a test run for me, because I've never used it before. And partially because uh, this is one of the few instances where I feel the occasion calls for it. It's, it's nighttime is falling and it's raining, if I remember right. Pretty much. Okay. Gotta be like all Lord of the Rings dramatic. Uh, do you have low light vision, Coriel? Yeah, I should. Uh, half elf, I believe. Yep, low light vision. It's in my senses. All right, I'll make sure that you have that then locked in for your character as well. So, like, basically, what's going to happen is, you know, um, the big uh, spots of light, specks of light, are currently the sprites. And you got, like, a little. Um, light here and there from other people. But otherwise, it's, you know, dark, very difficult to see for everyone. Uh, if you have low light vision, you have, uh, you know, when you do attack, it's going to be 20% concealment chance for the enemies. So, you know, uh, if you don't have low light vision at all, basically, if you're human, uh, it's a 50% chance that of concealment, so you might actually, you miss 50% of the time. Uh, just FYI on that, unless if you have like a light source in front of you that changes it. Everybody that's within the sprites right now, though, you can see within 20, 30 feet of you without a problem, okay? And that's what they're trying to represent with the big circles right now. Got it. And excuse me one sec, I'm getting messages. Is Theta going to be here today? Um, Theta, he said in the chat, he is going to sit out of some of the action today. So when we're done with the fight, uh, I'll uh, give him a poke. And then he'll come back, I think. Okay. He is still just holed up in that cave, so... Yeah, I was actually... Honestly, I was going to start the session with him just to see what he wanted to do, but... 
I think we'll just jump into the uh, the assault then for part two here. So the only um, confirmed enemies you should see right now are the troglodytes and the monitor lizard. Is that correct? All right, there we go. Change that to to two possible to to two possible guaranteed places. Hey, good for you. When I start looking for something, it's not difficult for me to get the ball rolling. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I can't see anyone. Well, like, I could, uh, at least any enemies. Yeah, well, uh, 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 let me rephrase. You s <clears throat> On the uh, turn order, you see the trolley lights. Oh, oh okay. uh, yes. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Okay, you know they're coming. I'm just going to tell you right now, they're, like, right over here, just outside the screen, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, not even, I'm not even paying attention to where they are. Well, if we're ready, four is first. I'll give it like another minute just to make sure we're all ready to go. Man, my sheet has no place for spells on it. Hmm. I'm sorry? I'm just looking on my sheet looking for places to put spells on it. I'm only going to have ever two, but... I, it's you have to... You have to go into the... I did this earlier today when I was working on a backup. You have to go into the configuration and give yourself a um, a caster level. So on the far end of your class line, there's a little box that says SC. Check that. And that'll like indicate that you're a spell caster. And then yeah. it should auto put in a place where you can put spells. An extra tab. That is correct. I will be right back. Thank All you. right. Uh, when you come back, uh, you get the first action there. Um, oh, but he's not here, so what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I started uh, working on a backup today. <laughs> Now's a good time to have it ready. That's why I was thinking. I'm like, you know, I should probably have yeah. something ready to go. And I figure one of our biggest blind spots is, is we don't have a cleric. Like, we only have Auburn, who we Zero use. Zero healers. <laughs> We have Auburn that we use when we're around here, but like she's not a permanent member. So I figured I'd make a cleric, and I've decided since we're uh, since this whole thing is is a a wartime invasion campaign, I'm going with a cleric of Gorum. Always a fun choice. Yeah, so it's just gonna be a. I'm just making a murder dwarf, I'm making a murder dwarf that can heal. Cool. Uh, Mur murder dwarf. It's a dwarven cleric of Gorum, and I think I'm going to take the strength and war domains, and so it's just going to be, it's just going to be a murder dwarf. Is that is that his name? Please tell me that's his name. No, no, no. I'm going with something that I did before. I like to I like to make dwarves. I cast him usually as kind of Russian, so his name is Brother Alyosha. I like that. That's one of the, okay, one of but the how crazy. bad is your Russian accent? Oh, terrible. Absolutely horrible. All right, great. Um, <laughs> Can't wait. And one of the traits that I took was, uh, I think it was called birth sign or birthmark. Basically, it's like you're supposed to have a, a birthmark on your body that looks like your god's uh, holy symbol, and you can use that as your divine focus. Okay. I decided to give him a brand. He's going to have a, a great sword branded into the middle of his forehead, and that's where all of his divine magic is going to come from. Oh, my God. He He's like an edgelord... Uh cleric he's gonna be kind of an i mean you know he's he is a gorum warfighter so he only exists to rip and tear and blood for gorum so i figure branding on the forehead kind of fits with that i i, I meant that mostly as uh i get um in jest obviously but oh no but he is it's gonna be it's it's just gonna be a murder hobo dwarf that's his whole his whole existence is to just all right, there's an invasion going on. I'm just going to go fight in the name of Gorum and kill everything in my path. My question is, where is he from? 
Well, um, I think it, it, we're close to the mine spins, right? Like where Kragadan is is nearby, right? Yes. I'll probably have him come down from Kragadan. There you go. All right. What the hell? I prefer Crag or Greg. It's uh, much easier to deal with. Easier than Kragadan? Yeah. Uh, a lot. Uh, has everybody made like a, a a backup just in case? Yeah. Yes. No comment. <laughs> Panda, would you I'm... like me to create uh, make a sheet for you or no? Not yet. All right. I, I'm still sticking to my superstitions. Fair enough. I only made mine because I got an idea that was too good to just let pass by. So. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, welcome, everybody, uh, to another um, spine tingling. Ooh. Should have done that for Halloween or something. Uh, um, episode of Pathfinder, the Iron Fang Invasion. I'm your GM, Rob. I apologize ahead of time. My voice is a little bit... Um, <clears throat> little softer a little scratchy but uh we are going to pick up the story right away at part two of their seat the siege i guess we'll call it the siege of the fandar survivors against uh a small group of the iron fang legion uh so let's real quick introduce everybody uh starting with i guess to my right i don't know how it looks on the screen uh, I'm going with uh, who's here, um, Panda. Uh, well, you're on my right, so that makes complete sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm playing Serok Tamir, the puncher of all bears. And he uh, does not have dark vision or low light vision, so he's going to have a rough time, to say the least. Make sure those sprites are at least in the, you know, nearby then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we got Anton. Or Arcloid, excuse me. <clears throat> yes, I'm often confused with my characters. I am Anton. Uh, Arcloid, I play Anton the human body, but I'm doing it now. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. He is a uh, human rogue, and he's decided to stick around here, a la the selfish gene, for the benefit of himself. He will benefit the others. I like the sound of that. Then we got uh, Gary. Oh, never mind. Uh, then we got. Sorry about that. Gary, still playing uh, Coriel, half elf fighter, uh, just trying to make it through the night. Hopefully, you do. Uh, then we got uh, Justin. Uh, indeed, I am Justin over here from One Bad Roll. I'm playing Forvel Novawood, a lovely young man who is very uh, hyper intelligent, but not the greatest with people. Uh, however, what I'm looking forward to most tonight is Smooth Rot. He's spinning all those low tones. It's going to be beautiful. Smooth Rob is uh, slightly hurting Rob, too. Um, <laughs> and last but not least, um, Shout out, as always, to Theta. Um, I don't know if, Theta, if you're, like, right in front of your screen or not. Um, Theta is here tonight, but is going to be sitting out for um, the current section of things on the assault because he's not involved in it at the moment. Uh, his character, King, is one of the few people um, with the uh, group. I guess he's the protector of the group of people that have decided to sit out the battle and are currently waiting in a cave that's about a day away from where you are right now. You spent a few days preparing for an assault, and you, well, you've done so. The first uh, major assault you were able to repel, despite some damage. Uh, some uh, things did get on fire. Um, you did lose a wall in your fort. But... Uh, you survived, but you're also worried about what's coming next. Before that, though, Gary and Forvel, uh, not Gary, uh, Coriel and Forvel, um, you were able to uh, stumble upon something that was happening uh, within earshot of your little fortress. Uh, Cor Coriel has been followed by a puka, a fey creature, who has taken a keen interest in him. 
and he led them to a little grove, uh, a grove that contained a harpy of all things, which you then promptly just got rid of, at least for now. As you do. As you do. Beat the fuck up, to say the least. Yes, you beat them the fuck up. It's not dead yet, shot, though. Man. I just want to point out, it's not dead yet. It was 50% dead at the time. It won't be the next time you see it. Oh, Sadly. Spoiler alert. Oh, but, yeah, uh, next time it'll be 100%. That's right. <laughs> I see what you did there. But, uh... <laughs> And, but in doing this, um, Corey, the Puka seemed very amused, and a couple of other friends of it, uh, a bunch of uh, fa uh, fairy sprites, also seem amused, and they followed you back to your camp. And it's a good thing, too, because currently it is, uh, I'd say, let's say close to midnight. You know, I think that's like the appropriate time for a battle like this, because, uh, spoil, I think everybody knows a battle's about to happen. and. Um, News to me. I thought we were. I thought we were going to invite them in for dinner. Uh, yeah, you could, but it, you'll be you'll be the one served. But um, there will. Uh, so it's close to midnight. The rain is starting to come down a little bit harder than it has been the past couple of days. It is making visibility quite quite difficult. And in while the sprites are helping to illuminate parts of the fort for you. In the distance, you hear the charge already begin, and a new wave of combat has begun. Uh, several troglodytes are now encroaching upon your already dis uh, broken gate, basically. Uh, with That is, I believe, trapless, if I remember correctly. Right? Uh, yes, yes. The trap yeah. went off. I, um, I'm assuming it's on the ground uh, because the connections would have burnt. The dog has something she shouldn't. <laughs> As they do. It's a uh, cup holder. Wow. She looks so guilty about it. She has a cow now. She's good. Anyway. <laughs> um... So what was I saying? So um, the battle is ready to begin. No hide or hair of any um, hobgoblins yet, though. But the first one up is Forvel. All right. Uh, Forvel is going to hold um, a longbow shot. Uh, for the first enemy that he sees. Okay. <laughs> uh, the puka on the uh, thing represents the sprites for the most part. Uh, the puka is here, by the way. It's somewhere in the darkness at the moment. Just so you know. Uh, and the sprites are going to basically do whatever you guys want them to do. So if you need them to move somewhere, let me know. Uh, I think we should have the ones down by the gate move out a bit, so we get visibility on the guys that are charging at the gate. Like, right over here? Like, there? Yeah, like, this way. This way. I don't know how far they can move. Do you see the, um, cobbles? Yep. I see these guys. Yep. There you go. Alright. Uh, any other, uh, sprite movements? Are you good for now? I think overall we are good. Okay. Coriel, then. Uh, Going to be a similar thing for Coriel. Uh, I'm right here next to this hole in the wall that's been created. So he's just going to ready an attack action, just hold his axe up, and the first thing that comes through there, he's going to take a swing at, a big uh, power attack swing. All right, Aubryn represents her and the NPCs. Do you guys remember who controlled who? Yeah, I have uh, the... Yeah, I have. Yeah, I remember who I have. All righty. Uh, is anybody going to take any actions, or is everybody holding? I think it's so Aubryn. Aubryn. I had Meyer, and I, I can't remember who else it was. Uh, Erdan, I believe. 
I believe that was correct because I have Auburn, Tidal, La Rosa, and Remo. Yeah, not all of them have their uh, um. Here, I'm gonna throw call it, it name plates up. I need to pull up those. They don't. Jeez. I thought they all did. I'm sorry. Uh, so um, Auburn on her turn is going mm-hmm. to do what she did first round, uh, or not first round, but last time. Enlarge person. I am presuming you are enlarging uh, Sirak. Yep. Yep. That worked great last time. Let's I not uh, not try to reinvent the wheel here. Big bear puncher. Okay. And then oh. as he grows uh, bigger, because you would probably still have reach, you will go up to here. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, everyone else is just holding t- until people uh, people are in for clear line. Roger that. Uh, yeah. Anybody else uh, doing anything special? Uh, uh, Garfield, Gary, and Log are all going to hold attack actions. Garfield and Log with their heavy crossbows, and Gary with his, I think it's a longbow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Daryl and Londra are going to wait until things are within their range increment. Who had control of Remo? I did. All right, I just want to make sure that it was set. And uh, Kinning? Uh, Kinning, I know it wasn't me. Same. Oh, there was a few that you were controlling. Yeah, I think, DM. Rob, I think you had Erdan, actually, because he doesn't have his name on here. We couldn't get control of him. Oh, all right, then I will, uh, well, Erdan will hold then, obviously. Um, all right, I'll 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 take re- retake control of Erdan then. Uh, I'm uh, Aunt Arkloid, You had uh, Kinning, I think. I might have. I think you did. All right, I'll open up Kinning sheet. I can't see where she is on the map. She's right next to you, actually. Oh, that's good. Okay, there. I was looking down at the bottom where we had been. Yeah, everybody's a little bit um, scattered at the moment, I guess would be the way to say it. And uh, also, I, I also... Buddy system. Yes. I also do apologize if this is too many NPCs, by the way. I didn't want to make it, like, too crazy, though. It's all good. It's a big battle. It makes sense. It is a big fight. Uh, if everybody is good um, and holding actions, um, Anton, then, whatever, you're ready as well. But Anton's going to cast light on one of his buttons or some such. Okay. And uh, that would end up being his whole action. I don't think I can do anything besides move, and he's staying still. So you basically got, like, your shirt's lit up and all that right now, like a beacon. Yes. Although I was thinking of, like I said, something he might be wearing around his neck instead of a button. Mm. Uh, yeah, he, he would still be glowing pretty brightly. Is it considered bright light? I believe it is. All right. And what's the range? 20 feet. Okay. All right. So you've lit up, you have lit up some things around you now. Sirak, your time to shine. Quick question. Uh, all mm-hmm. these guys down here, do they they have to, like, go through me, right? Basically, at this point? Kinda, yeah. So, there's basically no chance of them getting around me? Uh, unlikely, yes. Cool. Unless if you let them. I'm, I'm gonna martial flexibility dodge. So, AC back to 14. <laughs> um... And then I'm just going to, I guess, hit the first guy, the, this guy. Okay. With with reach, since I have it now. Go ahead and, and punch him. Let's make sure I turn this off for now. Does a 19 hit? Yes, it 
it hits quite easily, actually. For 15? Uh, the first troglodyte you see, you basically uh, knock its head off. All right. The only other one in range is um, this... The monitor I've... lizard? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, him next. That... Ooh. I, could, I gotta double check, because that's close. Oh, actually, hold on. The I think Meyer was gonna cast Guidance or whatever on me. Oh, yeah. Wait, that could have... for, for, like, the plus one attack or whatever? No, oh, well, if that's the case, then yes, it does hit. Okay. The lizard is still alive, though. Cool. But you, um, you basically punch it, and I you, you could you could swear for a minute, like, a bunch of scales on its face seem to, like, just stick to your fist. Okay. And you see, like, its fa its skull looks like it's been indented. But it's Jesus. still... Jesus. <laughs> but it's still... Jesus Christ. It's still, um, alive. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. Damn, man. Hey, I, I'm large now. What can I say? Well, large and in yeah. charge. I was just about to get there. <laughs> large Beat and about to take it. a bunch of damage. You notice a uh, javelin is thrown from the darkness. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to hit you, Sirach, but I don't think a six hits. Nope. Well, well, clearly you're not a big enough target. That's the problem. Yeah, uh, yeah. Clearly obviously. not. And uh, you, if you uh, roll, roll a perception for me. Me? Yes. Okay. Uh. Nope, that's an out one. You don't see shit. You have no idea where that javelin came from. <laughs> the uh, troglodytes are gonna go. So, the two that are surviving, they actually have their own javelins. They're coming up to, like, basically stabby stab you. Yep. Sixteen and four. Four misses. I will take four piercing. Alright. And the two lizards now are just literally in your face. The one that you've dented its head... I feel so bad for this lizard. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna try and bite your um, massive leg. Oh no! It's an ankle biter. Oh, that it, hits. It, oh, twelve damage. That's You're technically bad. grab, but it ain't gonna do anything. And I need you to roll a fortitude save. Uh, well, at least it's my best one. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. You are not poisoned. Second lizard, though, is going to get a nice fresh bite on you. 18. And uh, you take nine points of damage. Yep. Are you down? Nope. Damn it. I'm at three. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> they came to play this time. I mean, those are like above average damage rolls. They are, they are, to be fair. So, it looks like, uh, oh, uh, roll another uh, fortitude save. I should do make you do that, too. 15? Uh, yeah, you save. Cool. Alright. We're already at top of the order for Vel. Alright, uh, can I see any targets is the question. From where you are, um... Oh, hold on. From uh, where... Oh, go ahead. I'm just gonna check something real quick. This one entered the range increment of Daryl and Landra. The, uh, mon the uh, yeah, monitor this, lizard this here? Yeah, top monitor lizard. Okay. So I'm just gonna do some... Oh, they were, like, holding actions and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. As I said, they're gonna hold until something comes into the range increment, which is this the, lizard. The 15 does get in. Okay. So it takes a little. No one's passed the gate yet, so that wouldn't that, that wouldn't have triggered LaRosa or Tidal. 
unfortunately. Yeah, uh, no one's past the gate. They're basically under it right now. You can sort of see them, but it's they're a little take, difficult. They're, they're, they're not taking that shot because they're already shooting into in, into melee. Well, yeah, cover, that, so. yeah, that's right. Uh, I forgot about that. And he doesn't have that. That 15 misses, I'm sorry. Sad. Not for me. Plan your moves carefully is all I'm going to say. Can I switch this to somebody else? Or is that just me? What's the matter? Oh, I'm just looking over at what my possibilities are. Because I know the two spells I have left, and both could be useful, but not where I am. So, um, okay, Forvel is going to move closer. To there. Okay. And uh, I can now see the enemies coming into the gate, correct? Yeah, you, you it's not a clear viewing of them, but you can see them. I will take the shot. Uh, I'm not using a masterwork arrow for this one. All right. Uh, I believe you still get all the penalties with that shot, yes? 100%. Okay. If you had no penalties, it would have hit, but it's a miss. Okay, no problem. And that is my turn. Check something real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, Puka. So the uh, Puka's obviously out and about. Uh, what about your sprites? Where are they going? Uh, well, they can cast, like, days and whatnot, right? Yes, they can. Okay, I don't... I think the sprites g g uh, give days targets to our bear puncher. Yeah. Not a bad plan. All right. I've thought about it for days. Uh, specifically, who are they? Who do you want those two sprites to target? I'm just mad that I beat you to large and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trying to make up for it. Oh no, no! I'm I'm impressed that you beat me to large and in charge. <laughs> I also have like color spray, right? Uh well, actually, they one of them does have color spray. So they can use it if you like. I I don't know what those spells do in in Pathfinder. It's very similar to the other game. Uh, let's see. Not stunned. Let's see. Let me let me look at days real quick. Here, I'll just press it. Okay, so it just because I have them damage. both. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so. While you're looking that up, I will let everybody here know. I would prefer not to use two of the spell scrolls we have. Uh, but if I do have to throw out a fireball, I will. Save that for a last... We're surrounded by a lot of burnable material. It's raining. Uh, I'll give you that. Yeah, no. I'm completely fine with that. I'm also thinking of a very useful... Uh a very interesting use of break depending on if we can see how, how people are lined up on the walls. Uh, okay. okay. How many times oh, I can they spells cast left, so. these? Uh, days is at will. Color spray is only once. Okay. I mean, days is humanoid, so I think they have, they have to target the... The troglodytes. Yeah. Color spray can hit everybody. Is it a, will uh, work when we're dealing with like hobgoblins, though. Yeah, honestly, I'd consider color spraying this entire group right here. Alright. If that's what you're going towards, go do it. It's not like a high DC, but so, it's the best grouping we're probably going to get. So yeah, you all got... Up right there. 
So you got uh, a sprite that's tiny enough it can go literally in your space. Mm -hmm. And it will shoot the spray. I don't know why I pressed it again. <laughs> um, but let me... Now I have to make a bunch of rolls, so give me a moment, please. Yeah, will saves. Yeah, so we'll do the lizards. The lizards are fine. They don't care. <laughs> the uh, troglodytes, however... One of them is completely okay. screwed. Uh, and it's a 2 HD thing, so 2d4 round. Of course. Alright, so it's just out of the fight. <laughs> that one is completely... What is it? Unconscious, blinded, and stunned for 8 rounds. Jesus. Yep. It's uh, so sprite. Alright, well we got one. Uh, and then I think we just daze the other one. Here, I'm just gonna uh, move this guy over here so you know it's him, but mm -hmm. it's that guy. Uh, you're gonna just use the other sprite to daze that one? Yeah. Alright, it's gonna move, um... Might as well. ...near you and do that. I have to beat a DC 10, I think, for the daze. Mm-hmm. Nope! Cool. It is out for a round. Yeah. Which, I guess, gives me time to pummel some lizards. Yes, it does. Anybody else moving or doing anything with the sprites? Um, can we... No, no, that, that won't help. At we least... can have them kind of move out and scout a little past the barrier to see if there's anything there. Could I was also going to try to do a, a reach. perception on my on my turn to see if I could hear anything coming from that direction. All right. I think we I think we do the perception to you on your turn. Do the perception to see which direction that is coming from the heaviest, and then we send a sprites that direction next turn. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I direct the sprites on my turn? Does it have to be on their on their turn in the order? Um, I'll, I mean, you can ask them to hold, and then you can direct them afterwards. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'll do that. that I'll, turn. For their turn, I'll ask the ones around us to hold really quick, and then it's, it's my turn now anyway, so. Yes, so you were going to do perception, you said? Yes, just to see if I can hear specifically anything coming from, come outside this hole in the wall that I'm next to. Right over I'm here, waiting right? for anything to come in. Yeah. Oh, I'm wrong screen here. That's all right. Uh, Perception. 18. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. You know, you hear, like, the rain just, like, hitting down on the wood. Um, you hear the clashes of, like, uh, the fight that's going on over here, down south. Mm. But that's it. Like, it sounds like it's, it's, like, deadly quiet, like, right in front of, like, this area here. It puts you at a little, it makes you a little bit uneasy, like, as, it, like, nobody's there. Okay, in that case, um, <clears throat> I think Coriel is going to wreck the sprites and everybody in this group right here just to say, I don't hear anything beyond the wall. Everybody defend the main gate. And Coriel is just going to start booking it south to the main gate. Uh, one, two... Four, five, six. Something's up. I can't figure out what it is, though. It's, it's not the ominous music, obviously. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I think if everybody's storming the gate right have now, music on. So I have it on now, but no, there's something else up. I figure if everybody's storming this gate right here, then then we should all get down here, repel whatever's coming that way, and then we can just be back to back watching around us and waiting to see where they come in from next. At this point, we might as well all just group up and not spread, because it's dark. We need to we need to be close to each other. So You guys worry about that. I'm going to try and figure out why it's so freaking quiet when, it sh when there should be an invading force. Uh, and that'll be my turn. I, I moved... I'm, I'm moving towards the gate, and I got nothing else. All right, then. Uh, NPC watch. Meyer has healing spells, right? Yes, she does. <laughs> she has one healing spell. Might be a good time. 
Yes, let's do that. Uh, next round, you'll probably get some healing from Auburn. However, yeah. this round, full strength. Yeah. Uh, so what is it? Plus four strength, right? Yeah. So now you're going to hit like a truck. Now I am become the deadliest predator in a five mile radius. Uh, Actually, let me look at Tidella or La Rosa. Let's see if they they have any anything they're storing up. For the cure light wounds, it would basically be a D eight plus uh uh two for no D eight plus one for Meyer. Sorry. Hey, there you go. Cool. Uh, so taking into account now. Uh, what's going on? I can't move Larosa, however. Uh, but Tidal would come down here. So and so would Larosa, and can't. they would both fire. I don't have Larosa uh, as a as movable. I'll I'll, they, try. I'll fix that. Hold on. Okay, and they are both going to fire on the closest uh, the closest target that they can see. That's the lizards, probably. Um, with these shots into into cover, they're not using special a, a, any spe, any any of the special rounds. You should have control of La Rosa. I will just move her down over here. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I they both miss. Figured. Yep. Um. I see the NPCs are starting to move down. Erdan will do the same. Daryl has precise shot. Remo's going to still stay behind to cover people's bases. Okay. Laundra's going to shoot at the one that is dazed. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Nope. Even with the uh, the days gives you a bonus to hit, but it missed. I don't think it does. I thought it did. I think it specifically says it doesn't. Oh, never mind then. Ignore me. I don't uh, know yeah, no, no AC penalty because it's not like stunned or whatever. Um, and then Daryl Daryl will shoot at the monitor lizard next to me twice. So that minus two. That's a hit. Okay. Take Is that the one that you uh, caved its skull in? Uh, either of them, really. I'd... He has precise shot. So, sure? <laughs> it, it, I need to know specifically. Did he... Is it this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll see. It's that one. Alright, if that's the one you caved the skull in, it is dead. Oh, nice. That's why I need to know specifically. That's good. Mm-hmm. Daryl putting in that work. Honestly, I'm kind of glad he has precise shot. <laughs> Doesn't take the fucking minus four. Anton. Oh, four is pretty nasty. Anton is going to uh, be typical Anton. Not follow orders and keep watch on the breach. So Honestly, action. That, that seems reasonable. <laughs> And, uh, Sirach, before you go... I don't like the sound of that word. Before I go? Yes, before you go. Oh. Uh, you guys hear a couple of things happen at once. Uh, this is the rogue. This shot is on... Who's... Who would it go at back after, actually? It would go after Daryl, because he's kind of a badass, isn't he? That's rude. Is... Ooh, does that actually uh, hit? That doesn't hit, Daryl, does it? What's the range? No, it doesn't hit, but like... Uh, it should be 100 feet, not 120. Okay, yeah, then that's... Probably out of range, but excuse yeah, me. it doesn't hit anyways. It should, excuse me, it should be 120, not 100. He's he's got an eighteen AC. He's insane. Uh, okay. 
That's a shame. Uh, Can he uh, make a perception check on that? Sure. Okay. I, uh, and the second yeah. one, but well, after before he let's see before he does that. Uh, this shot's going after the sprite that's right next to Daryl. Okay. Oh my god. Thank God. Do they reveal themselves when they sneak attack? Technically, they do. Yes. Also, oh, yeah. you know, twenty perception seems reasonable. The shot came from over here somewhere. Uh, can see. you shift ping? Okay. Yeah, I don't. And let's see where you shift ping. Um, it came from the north of you. Okay. North, okay. Uh, it's probably not seeing it because it's in darkness. Yeah. But this way. All right. There too, you know, you hear um, what sounds like sounds and cackling and fire, and uh, what you start seeing is that the tents here are now on fire. How much light does the fire give off? Oh, that's quite a lot. Not supposed to be a lot yet, but we'll change that in a bit. Well, uh, that's a lot that snuck in. Mm hmm. They were hoping to take out some of you in the beginning there. Uh, Sirach! I punch a lizard. Punch the lizard. Uh, I am not on guidance, but I just hit very hard. Well, it's dead, Ooh. so it doesn't matter. Yikes. Sucks to be that guy. Also, I punched the dazed guy. You punched the dazed guy? Yeah, oh, I ar it should have already... Oh, him, yeah. you miss. <laughs> uh, it was a 15 uh, to the hit 15. with 18 bludgeoning. I forgot that I still had that on. Oh, the offhand was the punch for the dazed guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's dead, too. Okay. Um, I still have a move... Obviously, I can see these fires up here. Should I stay at the, the gate here, or move to fuck up some rogues? Your call. I'm gonna stay here for at least one turn, I think. because There is still at least this guy. And there's probably more out here. Well, you, uh, as you stay there... Misses. Damn it. There's no, al there's also that, which is a thing. The uh, troglodytes are basically done. That guy's not going anywhere. Um, top of the order, Ford Vell. Okay, we now see what's going on behind us. Yep. Which that's not nice of them whatsoever. Like they can they can stop doing that. Very rude. Go to there. Uh, from this point, I can see this gentleman. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he's not being nice. He, d he did not ask to come in. He was not invited. That, sh oh. I should point out, it should not be that bright, but it should be more okay. like this, but you, it, you, you know he's there, so go on. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shoot him in the face with a Masterwork, uh, arrow. Okay. That's a miss. Doesn't matter because I'm for Val and I can't and, and I can't hit anything. Uh, that's my turn. That's your turn. Yeah, I moved that shot. Well, um, our friend Sharla here, she's gonna. What's she gonna do? She's going into the darkness. And if you want, roll a perception check to see if you can make out her outline. Oh, yes, I will. 
Natural 20. Uh, yeah. yeah, you see her. She is uh, literally... <clears throat> She's literally hiding right here. Right here. Okay. Okay. I shouldn't say hiding, but she also has her... Um, she moved... Uh, actually, that's still a little too far. She's really over here. I'm sorry. And I can see the outline? Yeah, you see the outline of her. And she has her bow out. Uh, she She's taking aim at Garfield. Ultra rude. We gotta knock some kills on this now, finally. She's kind of done playing. I wanted to save something for the big guy to really just make him yell. Oh, I, might have to, I, I might have to use it on, on her. Oh, shit. Well, you might, because she just killed somebody. Garfield is very down. Garfield, Garfield is dead. dead. Wait, oh, so she, oh, she's got rapid shot. Sneak attack. No, that was a crit. Sneak attack. That was a crit. Oh, sneak attack damage. Uh, with the sneak attack damage on top. So that's 26 sneak attack damage? With the sneak yeah. attack, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, Garfield's fucking gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Garfield never existed. <laughs> Legends say Gary is the one that we're trying to save. Yeah. That's the one that Theta has the most invested in. So no nah, man, Garfield don't shiv. Legends say he still hates Mondays. Good God, he yeah, invented right. lasagna, you know. He did. Right. and he hates Odie. All right, I finally killed somebody. I'm happy. Uh, sprites, where are they going? Uh, need to find this fucking guy out here. You want to send the sprites out to the to the back there? How much can they move? We should definitely send the sprites that are over here by the hole in the wall a bit more towards the center of the camp to illuminate. The sprites have uh, sixty flying, sixty feet of flying. I think they can move quick. I want to send right. the sprite yeah, near me to illuminate this uh, this goddamn rogue. 15. Yeah, they're just gonna kind of go out a little bit. Well, the, yeah, this one that's right next to the hole in the wall that's kind of useless right now, so definitely move in towards here. the center. You want to send the one that's next to you near Sharla here? Yes. Alright. She's illuminated. If we see her, she can't get sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you know what she's doing every single time now. <laughs> Now we can probably have the sprite that was by Garfield kind of move, like over this way. Can this sprite move over there and attempt to? Does that sprite have uh col have days? Yes. Or, oh yeah, we still got like dazes, color spray. Maybe you want to do that? Yeah, I don't even know what it does, but she'll do it. All right. Uh. All right. Let me roll it. Well, I don't have to roll it. I just need to uh, press the button on the sprites to know what the DC is. I think it's like 10 or 11 or something like that. It's 10. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's 10. All right, so Sharla has to beat a 10 for her will save. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sharla, you, you don't got this. You ain't... You ain't will <laughs> will is go. her... Um, That's a 4. Is her weakness... Oh... And you're lucky. She has four eight. Oh wait, yeah, she has four HD. So that's just enough to hit her. So she is. She cannot take any actions for a turn. Uh, can can I see this guy, or can the sprite see this guy by the screen? Uh, yeah, you illuminated him. Uh, daze him as well. Sure. It's the bug bear, right? Yeah, I believe so. All right. Yeah, he's he doesn't care. I'm okay with you rolling a natural twenty on fucking days. Up until this point, we had one. We we only had one hero die, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Although honestly, after this uh, if uh, the siege, you're all getting a hero point thing back. So cool. Cool. Ooh, I still haven't used mine yet. I gotta remember that. And well, then you're earning a second one. You can have up to three. Mm-hmm. 
How do I um, deal with this rogue in an efficient manner? Actually, wait. Can I... <laughs> How far is 25? Do you have another rogue of your own? I, I have a question. Yes. Days um, has this range of like 25, right? Um, 25 plus 5 for every two levels. So. Yeah, yeah. Could this sprite kind of move forward, daze the guy, and then just move back? Um, technically, you can't like break it up like that, unless. We, but we could do like a maybe like a five foot step back, or the equivalency of because they're flying. But yeah, we could do that. Okay. So you're going after the bug the uh, bug bear again? Yeah. Just to see if we can get him. Yeah, apparently you can. Yeah, we can get him. I either roll a 20 or a 1. <laughs> apparently. Uh, either or. Yeah, dice. Alright, so we're looking good. Uh, Coriel, I believe it is your turn. Question. Charge attacks, do they have to be in a straight line, or can you do them on a diagonal? You can do them on a diagonal, but you gotta take into account like the movement. Oh no, I can do it because I have the boots of uh, what is it? is it? Do I have the boots of Elven kind? Uh oh, the striding and sprint. Uh, boots and striding. So my movement is forty feet now. So I have eighty feet. I have just enough movement to get right in front of Shalra. Holy there's, shit! Really? The diagonal? There's nothing in my way. Yeah, as I've been checking it this entire time, that's eighty feet. Boots, baby. Shalra. Boots, baby. Nice. So. Oh. Go for Coriel it. Coriel is going to charge attack and get right up in Shalra's face. Take a swing with his axe. So great. I never get to do charge attacks, and I always want to. Have fun. Fuck. No. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. Do you want to add a point? What? I'm going to do a second attack. I, I didn't hear. That's three people at once, one at a time. Right. Gary. Can I use my hero point to do a second attack? You can. You could also do the uh, hero point to add a technically to add like a plus eight on that roll if you want. Is it plus eight? You can no, do it's either or. You, it's plus it's, eight if you call it before. Oh, it's plus, plus eight, eight before, before plus four after. I apologize. Uh, I plus it. Um, you can weird like re -ro reroll it if you want. Um, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go for another roll. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. That's, That's a lot, lot better. Hit, that does a hit. That does hit. That is a hit. You've uh, the first person actually hit her. You uh, power attack that. I don't think you can power attack a charge. Huh. Might be able to, but That's I didn't call it. Didn't call it uh, beforehand, so I'm fine. I'm just taking the. Uh, yeah, you can power can attack a charge. charge. No, I used my hero point to the to attack roll. It, so I'm going to go ahead and just say I won't use the power attack on this one. Okay. All right. Nice hit. She's not alone though. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, this is just me reaching out to the group here about something. Mm -hmm. Would doing one d three dex damage to her affect her heavy? One d three dex damage. I mean, yes. that could affect her armor class if we get it down enough. Also, could, possibly like... her her attack stat. Her her attack stat. You need to roll a two or a three, right? And there would be multiple attempts to at, at rolling it, depending on if 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 this hit. I mean, that seems like a decent idea. We'll just give her a debuff. No, and stat damage is a big thing in Pathfinder, anyways. Like it you is. Start yeah. Okay. Away. Okay. In that case, I actually think I know how to deal with her. It's okay. uh, NPC time. Cool. Um, I'll go first because my stuff is going to be super quick. Okay. Uh, gates cleared out. Um, yeah. Minus th this one guy who's clearly dead, correct? This guy is stunned for another like five rounds or whatever. Seven. And then another seven? Oh, Can yeah, just seven rounds. Uh, Ty Dow and we're also roll together to basically coup de gras him. Yeah, you could do that. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then Aubrin is going to see that our bear puncher is in need of some restoration. 
And then uh, I have to kind of go out and kill this fucking bugbear. <laughs> Can you fit through the gate? So she, yeah. Uh, Auburn is going to get eight. within range of anyone with it, uh, around her that needs healing for her channel positive energy. Uh, that would literally just be... Um... I think that's only me. Yeah. So she'll go to here and then use it there just in case she would have caught it. She catches anybody else, but it's just you. And you get seven. Yep. I imagine Meyer cast Guidance again. Yes. Because uh, she can't... She only had one Cure Wounds, right? Yes, and that gave you only seven hit points. Yeah. Uh, well, it's better so than nothing. Auburn can do channel positive energy two more times today. Mm-hmm. Okay. I might need it later. Yep, that's why I'm keeping her close to you. Other NPCs. Um, Erdad is uh, heading back, moving up over here, and is going to ready a shot on uh, Sharla. Daryl's going to shoot into Sharla twice. Okay. Kenning will uh, shoot at the... Uh, oh, that's a crit. Oh. That's a crit and a 15. Nice. Is that Remo it? is also within range of Sharla. Is this Sharla right here? Yes. Yep. Uh, Remo is going to use his longbow, and he is going to use a masterwork arrow. All right. Go ahead. Uh, the 15 misses. The 16... Is a 17. The seven, the if, it's se if it's 17, it hits. 8 damage. So far uh, in today's Shit. session, we've used one Masterwork Arrow. Would there be a penalty to shoot this guy who is like in the light, but kind yes. of dark? Okay. What is uh, that? It's a concealment at this point. Um... Because he is, like, it's illuminated, but... It's a 20... Yeah, roll a d100 if you okay. get uh, 20 or lower. It's a miss. Okay. 27. Alright, so you could uh, t attempt a shot. Twenty-two for one piercing. <laughs> you hit it. Let him know you need business. Yep. Mild uh, discussions. Okay, Garriott is going to get right here in front of Landra and take a knee and fire a shot with a masterwork arrow at Shalra here. Mm -hmm. uh, Garriott has just uh, a short bow. So. Okay. Oh, that, that's terrible. That's terrible. And Log is going to... I had the distance on that. What did I say it was? Right there. Log is going to get right here and attempt to fire uh, with the heavy crossbow against Shalra, the masterwork bolt. So that is going to be a plus two. Is Log us using one of our masterwork, uh, yes. masterwork crossbows? Heavy yes. crossbows, yeah. Dope. So masterwork heavy crossbow plus a masterwork bolt. Hell yeah. That's a That's miss. 16. It still mi just yeah. misses. AC yeah, 17. All right. Sad. All right, Kenning will likewise shoot. Was it, I'm trying to remember the name, Sara. Yeah. Yep. I believe her name is Dead. That's a hit. She is still alive, barely. God, bad though. I mean, damn. is she bloodied, so to speak? Uh. She I know that's like a, a I know that's a fourth edition mechanic, but like it's one of my favorite ones. And it, she's incredibly bloodied. Um, she okay. looks like a she looks like a hobgoblin pin cushion, <laughs> and is literally standing. Uh, like is like well, I shouldn't even say standing. She's like kneeling down on one knee at this point. Also still dazed. Also still dazed. That's not helping <laughs> things either. Yep. Anton. Uh, you probably see where I put my arrow. That's not flanking, is it? No. Uh, that makes me sad. Uh, not quite. That, that is not flanking. Not enough. All right, so this going to shoot her with a uh, short bow. 
Actually, no, I like crossbow because those don't. I, not, the short bow has a plus seven on it. I'm using, I think, mass work arrows on with that. So, yeah, that'll help. Uh, that's a miss. Threat. I really Take don't want to have to move that spell on her. You could still move closer, though. Oh. Just to prep mean, for... She's so close to dead. There's no need to waste a spell on her. True. Well, I move there to uh, get in between her and Kimming. This right, is... Uh, uh, we are at round four, right? Yes. All right, just checking. Yeah. All right, well, this guy knows you're all here. He's going to take a shot. He does not have a penalty. Because, you know... He has a precise goblin. shot? Well, no, he's a or hobgoblin. He can see okay. in the dark. So, d d d are, are there... Ver do they have, like, a better version of low-light vision than... They, they have dark vision. Standard? Yeah, they have dark okay. vision. Cool, cool. So this is actually a good time for them to fight. Um, he takes a shot. Who's he going to shoot at? 